name three things that should be done to improve transparency in village government. Uh, one of the things we uh, have uh, a real hard time with uh, is the number of uh, repetitive FOIAs. And, um, and what we would like to do, uh, one, one of the things that I have proposed and our IT uh, group is working on, is to post uh, FOIAs, FOIA requests, and, and the information that has been filled in those FOIAs. Uh, so that uh, the same information is not repeated uh, because the people that are, you know, they don't know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. So, so if, they're, if, if three people are asking for the same information or variations of that same information uh, prior to uh, them actually filing the FOIA, they could view the website and, and see what FOIA requests have been made. Uh, you know, legal bills are, are one of one of the items that have been uh, repeated uh, to be FOIA'd by various residents, and it would be much more cost effective and time effect uh, and use the clerk's time in posting the actual FOIA and the information that was requested. Uh, so that is one uh, that we are, are working diligently to do as well. I'm going to interrupt for just a second, mm -hmm. so, um, just to, to be clear. So you're suggesting as one way to solve transparency or to improve transparency to post every FOIA request and the answers to them online? Correct. Everyone? Correct. Okay. Correct. Uh, secondly, uh, again, uh, Russell, you are aware of this. Uh, we have, a, uh, in the last two years, revamped our whole IT system. Uh, the prior server uh, that was being used, uh, we, you couldn't have four computers going at the same time because it would overload the server and it would go down. Mm -hmm. So we've spent a, a lot of energy um, and time in compiling uh, data services and to put our telephone system, voice over internet, uh, and, uh, and one of the other things that, you know, if we talked about a couple weeks ago, probably three weeks ago at a village meeting, uh, was the video system within the boardroom. Uh, we had it removed, um, and uh, you know there was a, a whole, I suppose, a menagerie of, of things that happened around that. Uh, but we finally got it back from the state's attorney's office, uh, and in that, it it kind of brought to light that you know we need to put that additional program on uh, our serving our server in uh, our computer system so that we can record. Uh, video record uh, the uh, board meetings um, so that they can effectively be out there. Uh, that that was done for a very long time by an outside source, mm -hmm. uh, CBGIL, Lori uh, Rabatini's uh, system, and um, you know, and, and when she fell ill and did not attend meetings anymore, that kind of went by the wayside. Um, so we kind of had somebody doing it for us. Um, it wasn't on the village site, but it was being done, and residents that wanted to see the meetings could. Uh, so that is uh, that is probably stage three of upgrading our IT system uh, as well. So that's something you advocate for, uh, recording and broadcasting, absolutely, and coordinating somebody absolutely on the website. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, Comcast is a bit too expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Do you have a third? Um, third transparency uh, is to, yes, I do, the, and that is something I'm also working with as well. Uh, currently, we only send out a, a newsletter. Uh, it was quarterly. We moved it to three times a year, trying to put uh, the recreation program uh, combined within there. Uh, I have since um, investigated the concept of doing a monthly newsletter, online, online newsletter. So what I have the, um, and it has not been put into procedural mode yet, uh, but the girls in the front office, when a resident calls in or comes in, ask them to update their telephone number and get their email address so that we can do an email blast each month of uh, the goings on in the village, what the agendas are, uh, what the um, upcoming issues are, so that it's in front of them. Uh, the, you know, information age 
is unfortunately, as you all know, going from paper to the internet. And um, you know, you get a whole bunch of stuff in the mail, you don't necessarily look at it. But to put that information to each resident um, that we can communicate with by email, uh, a newsletter out each month, uh, updating them, I think will be uh, much improved communication with our, with our community. John? Well, first of all, I, I think the uh, the newsletter that comes out and uh, comes out it used to come out four times a year, like uh, Debbie said, they dropped it down to three. I'd like to see a little more uh, communication with the residents there. Uh, also, putting in a, a questionnaire that the residents can fill out, you know, issues that they feel that the the village needs to address uh, that are the most critical uh, to our community. And uh, we need that feedback from, from our residents. You know, it's, it's not always easy to uh, communicate with them unless they come to a meeting or you happen to run into them. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be a good thing. Also, I'd like to see the, the, uh, the minutes from these board meetings uh, be posted online in a timely fashion so the residents can see what is going on, uh, what has been uh, taken place and approved in the village. Uh, I don't think they're always in a timely fashion and uh, they should be put up uh, immediately uh, when they're approved by the board. Do you have a third? The, th the third thing is uh, encouraging the residents to, uh, to get involved in village government. We have many uh, committees, we have a building and zoning, we have Plan Commission, Police and Fire Commission, we have Park and Recs, uh, we have a Lake Committee, and our best resource are our residents in, in the community. And the more people you get involved in government, the better. It's a, it's a nice cross-section of the community, and they help to bring things to the table to uh, bring it to your attention that we, what needs to be done. And uh, I, I really feel that's important uh, to, to resonate that out to the residents, to get them involved and, and say, you know, you have an interest, uh, you, you have a background in building and stuff, put your name in and we'll, we'll see when we get an opening or if we've got uh, an opening, we'll see if we can fit you into one, that particular committee where you have some expertise. Community involvement is a wonderful thing. How it does is. that improve transparency? Correct. How does that improve How transparency? Does it? Well, I think what it does is it, like I said before, it gets more people involved in village government and more, more knowledge in, of, of what it takes to, uh, to run the, the village. And, and uh, they talk to their neighbors and their friends and what's going on. And, and I think that, you know, that's a message that, that we want to encourage. Kind of a grassroots right. word of mouth thing. Absolutely. You know, it's not coming from your elected officials, but it's coming from your neighbor down the street. The uh, minutes on the website uh, are there. Uh, they, they were in a place not easily accessible. Uh, when we heard that people thought they weren't there, including uh, our slate mates didn't know they were there. Uh, we looked at that and, and have repositioned them. So they've always been there. They just weren't as easy to find, easily accessible as they are now. What's the most recent minute that's on the site? The last approved. Right, I'm saying. That last approved would have been um, this, uh, uh, February's. Okay. Um, and as far as our commissions and our boards, uh, they are filled to capacity. We do uh, not have any openings. Uh, there are always people that are applying for those or, or showing interest. They don't necessarily apply. Uh, when they do show interest and there is an opening, uh, we do ask for a formal request to be for them to be on that board and how they will be able to benefit uh, that board and the residents of our community. So. You know, we encourage that as well. Uh, it's it's something that we've always done, and um, we've been very fortunate that uh, we have no vacancies at this time, 
and um, and and I think all the boards are, are working very well together. Some of the people that are on um, our plan commission and zoning board have been there um, a multitude of years, um, many many terms. That uh, asked to be reappointed, and it's nice to have uh, some of that seniority there that have seen the issues of where the village has come and and where it is today, and they're able to um, help uh, mediate. Uh, answers for newer board members that don't really know the history of Island Lake. And uh, they're, they're good mentors for, for the new, new additions to the boards. So 